Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Overnight, we've seen a huge drop on Bitcoin and that spilled over into the rest of the market. So today's video, we're going to look at the charts based on a few of the cryptos that we've been following. Just update those to understand whether this is real FUD, something to be scared about, or if it's just a natural healthy correction. So stick around for that. Also gonna dive into some more news on the channel and finally touch on our portfolio. Before we dive into the video, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Nearly at 100,000 subscribers. Got something special coming up for you guys when we get to 100,000 subscribers. Bell notification icon if you haven't already. Lots of time sensitive information coming out during this cryptocurrency bull market. And like the video, if you find some value from the content. Let's dive over to the first piece I have here, and this is something I popped up on the community page of YouTube about a week ago, as it says here. We're looking at Ethereum. So we base a lot of stuff on technical analysis, particularly volume and swing. So if you're unfamiliar with these, stick around on the channel and you'll start to learn what they mean. Basically with the volume here, I'm looking at macro views. Primarily, I look at macro trading, the day-to-day -day stuff I save for our Investor Accelerator group, which you can find a link to in the description down below. 24 weeks up, week down, we had 11 weeks across. This is on Ethereum, remember? 11 weeks until we broke out of the high. Now, we've gone up 23 weeks, almost very identical. Volume was dropping off as we got into these highs. We've had a week down with extreme volume like we saw previously. And on the rest of this post, it just is looking at, are we gonna be five to 11 weeks on the way up? We're still questioning that. We've been down for about three weeks since that top, which we'll look at on the charts in just a moment. But essentially this is just an update of this piece here. So this is a macro view, nothing in my opinion to be concerned about. And of course it's not financial advice, but this is the way I trade the markets looking at swings and volume indicators to allow me to sleep easy at night. We haven't seen much of a dip on the majors, five, 10, 13%. So if you're, if you're not used to these and they scare you, then you need to reassess your trading plan. I have plenty of videos on the channel to help you identify and create your own trading plan. So let's have a look at CoinMarketCap. 1.6 trillion, we were hitting 1.8 trillion, getting close to the $2 trillion mark. Bitcoin has dropped a good significant amount here of 10%. Ethereum has dropped less, which means it's holding its value against Bitcoin. That's a good sign, especially in a drop. Uh, Bitcoin's market cap, 1 trillion, always nice to see that there. And Ethereum still sitting at 1,700. A couple of the other coins we often look at now are Binance and of course Cardano, which we'll touch on as well. Polkadot, another main player of the portfolio, Uniswap, Chainlink, and uh, that's pretty much it at this stage from the top 20. Oh, and of course, Crypto.com, also holding its ground against Bitcoin down now 11%. So I lie, Bitcoin's at 9.8, CRO at 11%. All right, let's move across to Google Trends. This is something that we've been following for some time now. NFTs, Ethereum, Cardano. <clears throat> uh, we really wanna see what the trends are to allow us to understand the market sentiment just that little bit more and see whether we are sticking around in the wrong cryptos or we are getting out of them and moving into something that is moving because that's the whole idea. In a bull market, we need to be with the trend. Now, we've gotta keep moving with the trend overall. This is in, on a micro sense and of course a macro sense. Macros, big picture, micro, small picture, if you were wondering about those. Uh, NFT, on the rise, been, it, it, you've seen it, it's been absolutely crazy. Lots of news coming out for it, but how do you make money from NFTs? Personally, I'm not interested in buying basketball cards or Pokemon cards or any of these other sorts of one-off uh, uh, NFT products. I wanna get the platform itself, which is why we talk about TVK on the channel a fair bit. You guys have mentioned Engine Coin. I've talked about that in the past as well. There's other uh, NFT projects out there, which we will get into as well. But NFT is still on the rise. Ethereum moving up again. Cardano flatlining. Now, I bring this up because Cardano has been a main player of the portfolio. I got absolutely ripped apart earlier in March about selling some Cardano from Cardano hodlers. And we now see Cardano down at around a dollar, dollar and two. It's just that the energy has flatlined out of Cardano from its previous high of about a dollar fifty. So let's have a look at fear and greed. 
71 on the scale. It has died off a little bit from yesterday, which was sitting at around 76. Last week, we are 81. Last month, 95. So we were really, really high there. And we are starting to trend down overall. Right through here, we were topping out at about that 80 mark. And now it looks like we're heading down again. So this may be the longer period that we are looking for, that we are welcoming. This is the longer down period, hopefully, to just allow the market to consolidate before we go gangbusters up again. If you find yourself in this position of buying the tops and now having to wait it out, possibly for a few weeks, maybe a few months, who knows really, no one really knows, then I just suggest that you review your portfolio and make sure you can sleep easy at night. Go and find other ways to begin dollar cost averaging in at some point. If you're new, personally, I would not be recommending to try and swing trade from the highs to the lows to get back in with the same money that you had in order for the money to go up again. I would very much strongly suggest learning how to uh, trade initially. So do that before you get into the markets. But if you find yourself in the market, then reassess your portfolio. And I've got a few videos coming up on the channel about that as well. So let's have a look at the, uh, the charts. Ethereum, we just looked at that on YouTube. So let's get an update of it. One, two, three, we're into our fourth week below the high. Funny, we should see that. So I'm looking at around five to 11 weeks below this high. And I think we may just get there. So this high, like you can see here, took 11 bars because we're on a weekly chart. Now you guys that are always asking for a price prediction at the end of March or end of December. Those things are pretty much a waste of your time. If you find yourself asking those questions, stop. Just stop wasting your time. No one knows the price on a particular day. What you can do is start to measure the time frames between highs and lows, lows and highs, between uh, a top and a breakout. These things are going to allow you to measure the market to give you an understanding or uh, a better idea raise the probabilities in your favor uh, as to when the market may do something. See here, we got one bar, uh, one week here, we got a little peak to the top and then a dump. Took a few weeks, we tried to hit the low again, didn't happen and the market took off. If we're still in this macro bull market, which I think we are, then we're seeing something similar. We see approximately about a week down. We definitely have one week down. Uh, you could say that it was the top was a couple of days earlier, and then we got the week down. Huge volume, huge volume. This is the volume bar at the low. You want to see that on the lows, and you want to see some volume coming in as it breaks the highs. So this is the, the breaking of the high. Volume increased. It continued to increase. And then as the market turned around to go down, the volume went down. So there wasn't as many sellers. There was a lot of buyers coming into the market. And that is definitely what we want to see when it breaks a top, not a weak move through the top. So I'll show you Ethereum versus Bitcoin because we are holding up reasonably well here considering the market has had a bit of a sell off. So ETH BTC also looking strong. All these lines all over the charts just means that we are hoping that we get a nice consolidation above 0.037 hopefully above 0.038, that would be ideal. Just above here, which were all the previous tops because we've tested it once and we've failed. So this is a little shaky in terms of the BTC chart, but it gives me confidence because we're holding up while Bitcoin is falling. So that's a good sign. Next, I want to recap uh, Bitcoin because that is the major thing here. It has fallen and everyone's freaking out over about 13 or so percent. And where we find that from the top to the current price, 12% to the low, 13.8%, call it 14%. Now, overall, I don't believe that we'll see any time too long below these areas here. So I don't think we'll spend too long in that zone if we even get that far. It's not out of the question because when we take a measured move, we're at 26% to get to that low and to these old highs is around 35%. So we know Bitcoin can do 35% corrections. It's not out of the question. So that's why I've got here. This is a little empty space that the, the price wasn't playing around in for too long. That's pretty easy to see with the naked eye. Then we have the old top. Finally, we have our Fibonacci extension tool. So from the low to the high, if you don't know how to draw these, 
you're just looking for major lows and highs and that gives you an idea of where the price may come back to so we've got our 61% level, our 50% and our 38%. Now, I don't think we're gonna get this far. We could get to around that 42 level, which lines up very nicely with these old highs and we'll test the old previous low that was set just a few weeks ago at around 43,000. So we do wanna to continue to test lows to make sure that we're building a solid foundation so that we can take off again. If we don't have a solid foundation and we try to take off, things get shaky. It's like building a building on top of bad foundations. And that is what is happening at the moment. Cardano BTC, something that we look at often, it has continued to fall on a daily chart. It's had a small reaction, a small rally, which is exactly what we we're expecting after so many days down. It doesn't take a genius to spot that. I'm definitely no genius. You guys have mentioned that in the comments before. Uh -huh. Cardano Ethereum, Again, we're just having a little bit of a softening here, which is a good sign. So maybe it could be time to start to DCA back into Cardano. So we looked at releasing some of our Cardano to Ethereum or to Bitcoin or even stable coins up at around this level. We have now seen the market fall by about 30%. And so it could be an okay time to begin dollar cost averaging in again, even though it could fall further. We just don't know, but at least we've saved a fair chunk through those falls there. Last crypto we're gonna have a look at before we hit, hit up some news is Reef. Now Reef has just had some pretty bad news come out and this was not foreseen. We don't know that there's bad news gonna come out, but essentially refinance price plummets after Alameda Research discredits allegations about 20 million investment. So if you're not interested in Reef, won't be a long section of the video, just doing an update on it because it's something we've talked about a fair bit. So I've lightened up my position this looks like a double top. The top was rejected. So if you don't follow Reef, this is still good uh, analysis to understand what to look for in other projects. So don't worry if it's not Reef, something that you're in. Just look at the double top here. Solid double top, rejection, huge volume. That's normally not a good sign. We were having a very good move up and this was a beautiful looking swing all the way up. Uh, we hit about 125% of this first range. Great going, but this rejection at the double top is not a good sign. So where do we go from here if we are looking at uh, the downside? Basically top to bottom, back to the top. Now, if the, this is if the double top holds out, 100% uh, brings us back down to 2.6 cents. Hopefully we don't get that far and this double top is nothing more than just a, a fork in the road for now. Otherwise, we could be heading just a little bit lower down to this 1.8 cents area. So I don't think we've got that far to fall, but time will tell. It is a very solid volume, high volume bar on a rejection on a big double top time frame level. So we'll keep watching that. But uh, yeah, that's just reef update for now. So let's move on to some of the crypto news going on here. Coin Gape gives us a lot of headlines. Bitcoin positions worth 1 billion liquidation in 30 minutes post Bitcoin 5K correction. Essentially, a billion wiped off of Bitcoin's value. There was, there seemed to be a lot of Bitcoin, nearly 19,000 Bitcoin being deposited on Gemini. So when there's a lot of Bitcoin that gets shoved onto exchanges, people freak out and they believe they're gonna sell the Bitcoin. So this could be a little bit of a shock here for the system. Overall, I think it's probably a good healthy sign to get this correction, which we've already covered. So. Any sort, of the, any sort of news like this that can just hold the price down for a little bit, give us some time, is good in my opinion, even though it scares people if they just got in. Don't worry if you're not making a profit in the next minute or hour or day. It's the long game. It's a long game for the big cryptocurrencies. Think about 12 months, three years from now. That's the sort of stuff you should be fo focusing on, not what happens minute by minute. Moving on to some more of the news headlines. Crypto beats stock trading in South Korea. Why does that even matter to us? It's just showing the popularity of how uh, how crazy the volumes are getting in cryptocurrency. South Korea is obviously a big player in the crypto space. So just take note of that. We don't need to go into too much more detail about it. Uh, the total trading volume, South Korea crypto exchange jumped above 14 billion on Sunday. Some more of that big news, which some may be reporting that is dropping the price of Bitcoin. India cryptocurrency investors remain uncertain. So there was some talk about India banning Bitcoin, which we may have 
you may have heard of that by now, but it doesn't look like there's too much going on here. Uh, it says here that the country is not shutting down all crypto related operations. So this is the sort of thing we saw in 2017, the ups and the downs, the constant banning of cryptocurrency and it just not having an effect, especially in a bull market. When this comes out and it will come out in a bear market, then it will have a different effect. It'll probably drop the price, even though we know long term that cryptocurrency is here to stay. More wild news on NFTs. Cannabis executive discovers Beeple NFT purchase for $969, now valued at $300,000. Not much more to it. If you weren't buying these when they weren't hot, now is probably not the time, especially after you see gains like that. So that's why I want to go towards the platforms which are trading the NFTs because I think they have a much longer stay in this space. They will also bubble which we will definitely see coming up at some point. But overall, that's that's kind of the space that I want to be in because I can at least trade those tokens or coins as opposed to uh, one-off NFTs. Sure, there are bigger gains in them, but with higher reward comes higher risk. And personally, that is not part of my trading strategy. Another NFT close to $300,000, Cristiano Ronaldo NFT tops LeBron, LeBron James Dunk, sells to 290000 This is getting really, really hot. Uh, these are the sort of things that I want to look at here. Turkish government warms up to crypto, charts regulatory course. So you might not be that interested in Turkey or what the hell they're doing. But overall, this is giving us some idea of what's going on with governments, smaller governments, even though Turkey's not that small. But, you know, we're looking compared to, say, the UK, US, China, those sorts of things. Government warms up to crypto, especially because their currency is getting absolutely destroyed. The Turkish lira has fallen by about 80% last time I looked against the US dollar. And we know the US dollar is also falling in value against other assets. So maybe in a world of hyperinflation, cryptocurrency is going to play a part and the governments might change their minds. These are just small articles to keep an eye on. I'm not spending too much on it but I wanna just keep in touch with what's going on around governments and cryptocurrency as well. Two more pieces from here, these look great. Americans could spend 40 billion in stimulus on Bitcoin. This is a survey, so we'll have a look at that. But then also this here, privacy chat app Signal. If you remember, Elon Musk has tweeted about Signal. Now takes donations in Bitcoin and other cryptos. Let's take a look at this article first. A new survey by investment banking firm Mizuho Securities found that many Americans are considering spending their stimulus money on crypto investments. The first batch of stimulus checks were processed at the weekend. A survey found that a lot of people will be investing and those investing are mostly keen on investing in Bitcoin. So they saw the results from the COVID crash, March 2020. They're up about 1,200% if people put their stimulus check into Bitcoin. And I assume they want to get some sort of same results as last time. Now to Signal, privacy chat app Signal now takes donations in Bitcoin and other crypto. This looks good. The nonprofit behind the messenger app Signal says it's started taking donations in crypto. It's taking Bitcoin, Litecoin, uh, Ethereum, Chainlink, Zcash, and more. You can also donate anonymously. That's a pretty good sign. I like the thoughts of that. I can't imagine WhatsApp going down that path, especially with Facebook and how they're kind of in bed with the government. But looking at this, I like that step, that move that Signal's taking to go towards that crypto space. Basically, it's donating to Signal not that you can take donations yourself on Signal. So just keep that in mind as well. Demo portfolio on SwiftX. Let's take a look at this. I've talked about why it's a demo. I've talked about the coins that are in here. So I just want to make a quick update. I have sold off the reef in this portfolio. Uh, I do still hold some in my personal accounts, but I've sold it off in this portfolio because I want to tailor this portfolio more to a macro strategy. I don't want to be flipping this thing. I still believe you can get very good returns. I'm thinking three to seven X returns on just holding some of the majors. And then we will play with a little bit of the cash with some of the smaller projects to get our bigger returns. But overall, I want to keep this reasonably safe, especially when there is a lot of people watching what's going on here. And it's just, it's not going to do anyone favors if I'm flipping in and out of coins without having to do videos. And I, I think now is probably not a good time to be doing too many small trades. So I've got quite a few majors here. We've got some ETH, Bitcoin, Cardano, 
theta dot link and some iota. So I've got a fair bit of Aussie dollars after selling off that reef. I think we're going to buy some more uh, Cardano once I believe there is a turn in the market coming. So we could dollar cost averaging into that and get ourselves some more ADA and possibly get rid of some iota. There's only a little bit here, about $500 worth. So far we're up 17%. We started at around 13 grand, currently at 15 grand, even with the dump that's just gone on recently. So not doing too bad. And we did start this portfolio at around the top of the recent uh, the, the recent top in February. So doing not too bad. We're gonna improve this. We've got a lot of cash to play with still. So stick around for that. Now with a macro portfolio, seeing as we're holding them for a longer period of time, there's other options to hold the cryptocurrency and that could be in BlockFi. So there is an affiliate link down below. You can get up to $250 in Bitcoin by depositing your crypto on this platform. You can stake your link 5.5%. You can stake Ethereum for 5.25%, Litecoin for 6.5% and Bitcoin for 6%. So the link to this is down below. You can get up to 250 bucks. I mentioned that earlier. Um, not a bad little way to get some returns on these cryptos. Plus it has stable coins at around 8%, eight to 9%. Now we'll make mention of Litecoin. I do not have Litecoin in this portfolio, even though we talk about Litecoin often on the channel. You would know why, it's because it's still not looking like it's uh, it's got any sort of movement in it against Bitcoin or Ethereum value, which means we're better off being in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now there will come a point where it's probably better to have some Litecoin, but for now it's just been decreasing the whole time. Uh, since we first started talking about it in January. So holding Litecoin from January till now has lost money because we could have just been holding Ethereum and Bitcoin. In terms of a dollar value, yes, it's gone up, but that's because Bitcoin has gone up. So we will look at that in future and we do have some reserves to, to play around with Litecoin. If you wanna uh, play around with SwiftX and start your own demo account or get trading on SwiftX, there's a link to that in the description down below that you can start your own uh, portfolio and obviously trade with it. This is for the Aussies, for the internationals. There is a Binance link down below, which you can do a similar thing on as well. I'll wrap that video up there. Stick around on the channel. Subscribe if you want to be updated with cryptocurrency charts and news. Bell notification icon. Like the video up if you found some value from the video. Hopefully you can rest easy tonight knowing a little bit more about technical analysis. Otherwise, hit me in the comments. Share, with, share this with a friend if you feel that they're freaking out and I will catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.